all year the, the flame burns all year long in Special Olympics in Connecticut. Torch runs have raised a half million dollars this year and tonight the three day law enforcement run across the state came to an end with a ceremony at Foxwoods. Sports Edge coach Erica Walker was there. It's not London or Rio, but it certainly felt like it at Foxwoods Resort Casino as tonight was the official kickoff to the Special Olympics Connecticut Summer Games. The third leg of the law enforcement torch run came to an end Wednesday with the ceremony and lighting of the Olympic torch. More than 1,500 officers and athletes took part in the three-day, 530-mile run across the state to help raise awareness and support for the Special Olympics of Connecticut. It was a great feeling for seeing the camaraderie of people that we didn't even know, strangers come out and run with us and they got the chance to carry the torch. We actually had an opportunity to run with I think four or five different um, Special Olympians, um, which is always a great opportunity to uh, interact with them and, and encourage them and they encourage us in, in the same time and it, it's a great feeling overall. But nothing compares to the feeling of when the torch is lit, the culmination of the athletes hard work all year long. Pretty awesome, pretty good. It's very special. It means like you'll be a part of yourself and you know you can do it. You know you've accomplished your goal to be there. From the moment they see that, that flame go up, they know it's on. It's time to, it's time to compete, it's time to show the, uh, the world what you can do. And uh, I think that that's really a, a great encouraging feeling for them of excitement. And while there's certainly a lot of pride and excitement surrounding this weekend's events, it doesn't stop there. Later this month, nearly 100 athletes and their partners will head to Princeton, New Jersey to compete at the Special Olympics USA Games. That's quite an accomplishment as those games are held once every four years. Reporting in Mash and Tucket for Sports Edge, I'm Erica Wachter. Great story with some really special athletes. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about it.